Coach, I guess first um, evaluate, I guess, last week's efforts, another uh, pretty strong showing from your offense. I, you know what, I thought it was a great team win. Uh, Coach talked about, hey, it's got to be all three phases. You know, you got to play smarter than the other team. you got to play harder than the other team. Felt like as a, as a whole, we came out and we did that. Uh, got again, carry that momentum week to week and uh, build on that. Obviously, it's a huge week this week, big rivalry game. Got to carry that momentum from last week into this week. As the season moves on, how much do you guys adjust the playbook, try to give defenses different looks, keep things fresh? We're always going to try to change it up. Uh, not, you know, I, I, We hate for a defense to, to notice something and start picking up on tendencies. But, well, you know, there's some core things that you're always going to do, but you, you always want to mix it up and, and change things up. And we'll do that from the team. So you guys start looking at them, obviously, an opportunist, optimistic defense. And Coach said you guys – he said you work on more on ball security than any place he's been before. I mean, you just kind of walk through what all you guys try to do to emphasize that. You know, well, ball security is number one. You know, everybody talks about it, but you got to actually go out there and work on it. We spend time every day working on it in multiple phases during practice. It's just not one period. I mean, it's multiple times during practice. Even when guys are injured and they're not practicing, like DeAndre Furby was out here today holding the ball a whole practice. Guys were behind them batting the balls, those kind of things. We make a conscientious effort to for ball security and then from the quarterback is taking care of the ball we're constantly talking about throw the ball away or get the ball out of your hands and the guys have done a great job of it and it's really helped us this year and, it, and we've won because of it deandre was coach said he nicked up his ankle last time that was it just cautionary for that yeah just normal nicks and bruises you know he's fine there, there's no issues with him uh you know he came back out after the game on sunday was moving around pretty good uh, you know, we got a little bit of light work today, but just wanted to make sure he was fresh. With Ace, Brandon said, you know, he saw some, I guess, a little tentative at times, maybe unsure, but um, how big is it to have him back, and, and how much do you need him to get over that mental hurdle? Uh, it was good, you know, he went out there the, the first time around, and, you know, he held on to the ball. That was the most important thing, but uh, I think you'll see him get more confidence, more burst, get faster. Uh, you know, Ace is fired up. You know, he, he's wanting to get back to, to the game and be in there. And I thought last week he was fine. You know, he didn't get a lot of carries. He didn't get many touches, but what he did, he, he did fine. With him. How do you feel Jared Dangerfield's done, especially after coming back from that injury? Uh, he's done great. You know, I think mentally now he's, he's back to where he needs to be. Uh, first couple weeks, you know, he was a little, you know, timid because of the hamstring, but he's feeling really good now hitting on all cylinders. And even Brandon the other day said, hey, you know, Dangerfield's back. So uh, fired up for him and he's ready to roll. A good game from Nicarius. He got in there and had some good third down catches. I'll tell you what, huge third down catches because they were, they were on us pretty good. They had great coverage, great man-to-man -man coverage. And Brandon put a perfect ball in there about three times on Nicarius, but he went in there and, and, and made tough catches. I mean, really had, you know, guy competed for the ball. It was good to see. And I walked up to him on Sunday. I said, man, that, those were huge, those three catches you made. And so I really feel like he's he's coming along and starting to be a playmaker for us. So, and we're going to need him down the stretch. You know, he's going to be a guy that we're going to have to get the ball to more.